What is going on, everybody? Edward here for a WWE Supercard Season 2 episode for you today. And I am so freaking tired. Uh, I went to the NXT TakeOver show yesterday, last night. What a freaking show that was, man. The crowd was crazy. I always expect the New York crowd to always be crazy. Unless it's somewhat like a SmackDown, Raw, if it's not like in Madison Square Garden type event. So it was awesome to be part of that 15,000 people crowd. Uh, it was just an amazing show from top to bottom. Definitely match of the night, Bailey and Sasha Banks. What a match that was. That is what wrestling is like. Nikki Bella, Brie Bella, shut the fuck up. That's what wrestling is. Not what the fuck you bitches do. They're just a disgrace to the division now compared to what these girls do. It's ridiculous. I was a little disappointed with the main event with Kevin Owens and Finn Balor. Even though it was still a great match. Just a little disappointed, you know. I, I expected a little better from Kevin Owens because the Kevin Owens I know is the Ring of Honor Kevin Owens, and he would have fucked Finn Balor up way worse. Like you would have seen that suplex happen off the ladder. You would have seen it, but you know, I guess they're playing it more safe because he is going to be on the next three nights because he is expected to be on Raw as well. So he's fighting Cesaro, which guarantee. Right now, I'm calling it will be the match of the night for SummerSlam. Cesaro, Kevin Owens, match of the night. The crowd will be into that match. I would say it will be one of the top matches people will be looking forward to because those two are so over. It's ridiculous. You know, Kevin Owens did get cheered. It was almost the same as Finn Balor. They, they were pretty much the same cheers. I thought Kevin Owens would get a little more. I thought uh, what, what you guys don't know yet is the pre-show. With uh, Ava Marie, uh, she got booed, of course. Not as bad as I thought she would get booed, but she got booed. Uh, I, I, I gotta say, the people that won the crowd the most was Enzo Amore and Big Cass. When they came out, the, everything exploded. It was crazy. And you guys will get to see that on Wednesday. It was just an amazing, amazing uh, overall like feel to it. it just awesome. So, you guys should check out Wednesday's episode if you get the chance. Here we'll see uh, four matches. Uh, it will be uh, the Enzo matchup. You will also get to see the Ava Marie matchup with Carmella. You'll get to see Bull Dempsey. And you will also get to see the Fatal 4-Way. Now, I'm not going to give away spoilers, like, winner-wise. But I'm going to say this right now. That Fatal 4-Way women's match... I guarantee the ending was totally botched. It was. It looked botched as fuck. So I want you guys to be the judge on Wednesday and be like, yeah, that was definitely botched. Because the way it ended just did not seem right. And I guess they got the count confused. So I'm not going to say who won or not. I'm pretty sure you guys are ready for the spoilers. But... I don't know what happened. It was just completely botched. It looks so botched just because of what happened after the match as well. So, kind of funny, but, you know, whatever. It was still okay match. It wasn't the greatest. Okay, but, yeah. It was It was pretty... I laughed hard when I saw the botch. And the crowd, fucking fantastic. Love the crowd. Enough about NXT TakeOver. You guys, if you guys all watch it, I hope you guys are ready for tonight, SummerSlam. That will be going on at the Barclays. I won't be, I won't be able to attend it. Due to the fact that ticket prices were $300 for the 200 sections. And there's no way in hell I'm going to pay WrestleMania prices. Even though it's a WrestleMania 4 hour show. But it is SummerSlam. And I doubt. And I paid $45 for NXT tickets. And they were in the lower area. Because I, I was in the Enzo Amore section by the way. So if you guys see me on TV. Power to you. It's a whole section with Enzo Amore signs. But yeah, so I paid $45, had the most amazing view, if you guys have seen it on Twitter. And if I paid $300, I would be in the upper deck of SummerSlam. And it probably won't even be as good. I guarantee NXT destroyed this weekend. Raw, I don't think Raw will be able to beat it. And I don't think SummerSlam will beat it. I think SummerSlam will be the weakest freaking show this weekend. I think NXT takes number one, Raw will take number two, and then SummerSlam will take number three. Which is kind of sad when you think about it. 
But we'll see. We'll have to wait and see. Anyways, enough about NXT Brooklyn. Sorry about the drag. I just want to say it was an awesome experience. I called out of work today because I was exhausted. I had to be at work three hours later, and I'm like, fuck that. So right now we are 6-0 and and an epic. I'm in an epic king of the ring. Uh, hopefully I can get into the finals or the championship. Either one would be great. I, I, I'm kind of leaning towards this because I really want that ultra rare support. I don't care what it is, but a support would be so useful right now. So you guys want to see what has been kind of happened. This is my current deck. We do have the great Dolph Ziggler Pro. Now he's not finished yet. Still working on him. He should be uh, done soon. But yeah, as you can see, he's getting there. I'm a little disappointed with his stats though, because uh, you see people like with Rock and freaking John Cena, and they're so OP. It's freaking ridiculous how OP those two cards are. Uh, I'm sure everyone else is like you know somewhat near Ziggler's level. But man, those cards are so OP, and I'm like, I'm there like, how is that even possible? Crazy. So freaking crazy. Well, on the bright side, he's almost done. Fully to potential. But yeah. So let's go ahead and play some matches. Uh, uh, I guess we should play Shane, since he has not that much games played. And shit. Who saw that coming? Not me. So I'm not really sure if, like, when you do a reset and whatnot, is as you see, I got a lot of cards. Uh, how it affects things because, oh yeah, I forgot about Ultra Rare. I got John Cena as a pull, so I figured why not train him now? You know, maybe I should put him in instead of The Rock to lower my rating. But then I think about it, I'm like, you know, what? I may still lose. Oh, man. It's it's hard to figure out the matchmaking in this in this game. It's like you want to be certain, and then you're like, I, I just not really certain. Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. I gotta lower it. Probably just train the commons because I've already gone long enough saying all the stuff about NXT Takeover, so. Kind of don't want to drag the video to that extent. Plus, we do have uh, an awesome summer slam coming up. I hope. Gotta say though that uh, when Blue Pants came out, man, that crowd erupted. And there we go, John Cena's level seven. I will leave you like that for now. Alright, uh, I need to double check my key in the ring real quick. Uh, I really don't know what are bots, but you could tell us some of these are box are bots, pretty much. Like here, that, that's like the it's like the only alternative you can get. Uh, I know I have at least one human in here for sure. Uh, he's a fellow person, MTO ten. So I know he's a human, but you know the rest you really I really couldn't tell. So, I'm left to figure it out on my own. But, you know, I'll figure it out. I'm sure I will. Alright, so let's get into exhibition. Give me a second. Anywho, sorry about that. Let me make my shit real quick. Uh, we'll go up against Fan24. He is in my t Well, he's a tier ahead of me. So why am I fighting him? I don't even freaking know at this point. But, you know, the better the competition. Let's do this. Let's do this. It looks a little blurry on my part. So I never like to use my support with Ziggler. Oh, look. It's an incorrectly proed Mark Henry. Or is it incorrectly proed? Maybe it is correctly proed. No, that's correctly proed. 
I guess it is maybe. I don't know. His stats seem a little too low, to be honest. But I would not know it. I can't tell the difference. And uh, we're going to probably lose here. Oh my god, look at that correctly pro page compared to mine. I will always, always be devastated by that. And we should easily win this one. I should have picked Seth Rollins. I don't know why I didn't pick it. How are we in the same freaking league? Like, how, why am I fighting someone like this? Like, this guy had way good cards compared to what I had. Like, come on. I know his Mark Henry was incorrectly pro, but for fuck's sake. <laughs> if they picked two solo Diva matches, I was done. Done. Alright, so let's uh, get that energy card. Damien Sandow and Luke Harper. Uh, I'm going to see if we can keep going. Oh my god, this this is what annoys me. This guy is exiting the game to not get any losses. So I'm going to be I'm going to hopefully beat his fucking ass to show you how fake this motherfucker is. Uh, if you close out the app, you, you don't get the loss. So it's if you don't if you know you're going to lose, you just close out the app. But all right, whatever. Like yo, be a fucking man. Nobody gives a flying fuck about your records. Nobody cares. Because at the end of the day, you're going to lose. You're going to have a one loss on your record, and guess what? It's tainted. It's already tainted because you're cheating. All right, so we're going to hopefully destroy him. Oh, he has a rock. Wow, that's impressive. I'm not going to lie. I am fucking jealous right now of that card. Anyways, uh, we're going to put in uh, Bray. He'll probably proc on me. And we're gonna give him Sister Abigail. And Brie Bella is gonna get raped. So he just got three owed. He didn't even get one. Not even two to one. Three owed. And you're telling me with that diva, he's undefeated? Get the fuck out. Just stop it. Stop being a little bitch. Take the loss. And uh, everything will be good. Uh, Papa Kappa, whatever your fucking name is. Don't be a little bitch. Anyways, I guess that will do it for today's episode. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe for more Supercard videos. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter if you guys want to. PC is still not going to be here. Probably until se early September because it's taking forever. I'm going to say this right now. I placed my order Friday. Uh, over a week ago. So that Friday, not this one that just came up, that Friday. And it is now Sunday. And they still haven't built it. It's been like nine days. It hasn't been, even been built yet. And I could see why people hate their shipping process because they take fucking forever. And they don't even assemble on the weekend. So I'm predicting I'm gonna probably get it September 3rd. Man, eh, whatever. Anyways, guys, you guys stay awesome. Enjoy SummerSlam. I'll be going to Raw. Hopefully, be taking some pictures. I may even make a video because I will only have one person there instead of two. And, uh, you know, if you guys are at Raw, maybe I could see you by any chance. Not sure. I know some people wanted to see me when I went to take over. The thing is, uh, I figured I was going to go to the job because I just said, all right, I got to go to my job. And then when I got home... I'm like, you know what, fuck it. It's just not worth it. It's a Sunday shift. Sunday is the worst shift for my job. It's a 10-hour shift. I said, fuck it. So, that's why I'm, I feel bad. But, you know, maybe on Raw, I could see a couple of you guys if you are there. So, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Should have a video out, maybe. Because uh, it depends on the Raw. Because I am going to Raw. So, we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Peace out.